Hello and welcome to the Sketching Greyhound. Today we will be drawing one of the lesser known superheroes. She's a mutant, Domino, and very cool and interesting. So we will be talking about her in a second, but now let's start drawing. Once again welcome to my video, I'm glad that you came and I hope it was not just coincidence. <laughs> if it was, please ring that bell, subscribe, all of that stuff so that the next time isn't coincidence and you find me on purpose. I would love that and you could visit one of the lives. This one was actually filmed on a Wednesday live. Uh, yeah, where I drew Domino and you can chat with me talk with me I love the lives and if people like you are there it makes them just so much more enjoyable so I would love to see you there so think about it Wednesdays and Fridays there are lives here on this channel so this time I have drawn Domino she appeared in the Deadpool 2 movies if you have not seen it it is very funny but very violent so <laughs> think about that before you watch it if you don't like violent movies definitely not a movie franchise for you uh, but other than that it is really hilarious especially if you know a little bit about the comics uh, yeah a lot of insiders it is really a fun fun movie franchise and domino appeared in the second movie she is a mutant she has the power of yeah of luck basically so she's she's actually um fighting with deadpool a little bit in the beginning if that even is a superpower but we get to see it in action here in the movie and it very much is actually also a lot more of a superpower that she has in the comics in the comics she has yeah probability altering powers they are calling it but it is in her line of sight and here in the movie you see it all around her there's just luck just wants to help her <laughs> the the world around her just happens to do whatever she needs so that she gets the best outcome you could think in that regard that she might even be invincible i mean a weapon is not shooting when it is aimed at her because of, of i don't know what a malfunction uh, people are basically knocking themselves out around her uh, she doesn't even need to to fight them so that she only has one person or anybody to 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 fight at a time everybody else is um felling themselves but yeah it is it, it seems to be extremely powerful no idea who would actually be able to to beat her in this way So she has a very powerful power, but she also is just really likable. She is a very positive figure. Uh, she is very positive she, she, because why, why, why shouldn't she? She knows luck is on her side and <laughs> everything will turn out as it should. She is really uh, convinced by that. She knows that and that um, I would think makes a very happy person in life. Although I do not really understand why she chooses to do what she does running around as a mercenary and not, I don't know, visiting Las Vegas or something. <laughs> I don't know. Or just playing perhaps once uh, in the lottery. I, I don't know. A game show. Whatever. Or with her luck she should be able to become a renowned actress. So, who knows? But she seems to enjoy herself, so that might be the answer. She is happy where she is, because she has the feeling that her luck gets her to the places and into the situations that where she should be. And doesn't everybody want that? <laughs> kind of find those places where they should be. So yeah, she's happy. And I was, and still am, actually pretty happy also with the picture. Uh, this is, was the first time that I was using this paper. It is a different grey paper than I usually use. It is darker, 
a, not even a little bit. You do not see it too much on the camera, but uh, this one at, on the camera actually looks uh, quite a lot uh, grayer than the other one. Uh, I don't know. I think the camera tries to adjust with the other gray uh, to, to a wide level still. With this one, it just accepts, okay, there is gray in there. So it looks grayer. It uh, is actually also a little bit finer, it seems, so not as coarse. Uh, I feel like I can get more detail in here. Sometimes on the gray paper, my pictures tend to be not very detailed and I go to for the white paper to have really detailed portraits. If you look at my Dean, for example, that I have drawn, I would not have be able to do that on my regular gray paper. Uh, I'm 100% I'm sure I might be able to, to do something like the Dean here, although this still is a smaller face and a little bit less detail than, than in, in the Dean one. Uh, but still, I think more detail than in most of my grey pictures before yet. So I am really happy with this picture uh, and I'm really happy with this paper. Surprisingly happy. It still gets as much as the other paper, so I have to be careful even touching it for a prolonged time because it just absorbs the, the oil from your skin and just gets smudged directly. So always be extra careful if you're using this darker kind of paper but it works works uh, very well also with the white obviously it is darker so uh, the white pops even more i was actually using a blending stick for the white in this case i do not use blending sticks too much but i used it here on the white to get it a little bit more smooth and not as striking to make it a little bit less white less glowy almost and here's a little intermission because I had to test how to draw the hair. I had watched a tutorial and wanted to see how to use uh, the pencil or which pencil to use. On the left side you see a fairly cheap uh, cold one uh, that I actually had from my Wish Hall. Uh, this is my regular pencil, uh, it's the, the black pencil. And here this is my black stone, the one that I really like so much. And you see on the left both, they're pretty similar. <laughs> and uh, the black stone is not too different, but uh, with, two, uh, with two passes it got already pretty dark. So uh, I went with that black stone actually. I tried it also with the blending stick, but the Q-tip that was used in the tutorial I was following, uh, it works. A little bit better so I went with the q-tip. Uh, I will link also to the tutorial down in the description. It is from Jeffrey Apiatu and yeah he still makes it a lot better if you look at I don't know do you know that feeling when you watch a tutorial from somebody in art and they say it is a very easy way and they really just take a, one pen and start scribbling and it's just like magic every single stroke uh, as small or random as it seems just looks already perfect like hair and everything <laughs> that's how I felt in that tutorial and if you look at what I'm doing it is a bit uh, a lot more coarse but it somehow it, it fits my style so I <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with it. And it's also, it was a bit much for this amount of hair. It became boring at some point, but at least in the beginning, it was even a little bit fun because it is like writing in, in, in a kind of magical language, you know, just scribbling along those little scribbles. It is, it, to a certain degree, it is fun, then it becomes less so. And I also was feeling like I was damaging the paper a little bit with that Q-tip, surprisingly so. Um, perhaps very. Um, perhaps the paper is not uh, as strong as uh, the other paper I was using, but well, um, it uh, did not cause visible damage. And later it actually helped me. Uh, we will come to that in, in a minute. Uh, but you see here, I created the different shades by just more than one passes everywhere where there should be. A little bit darker hair so just a second pass on top of the first one and I was done with that and I, I, I like the result I think it actually works so this will go into my tool case 
in case I will have the next one of these styles. Here you can see I was testing to, to make it a little bit lighter, introduce highlights with the white stick. Uh, if you roughen the paper a little bit, it sticks well even on the pencil. Then I remembered that the Q-tip already damaged the paper in that way. And I tested that without um, erasing and it worked. So I could just take my picture and then start putting in those highlights right on top of it without any additional preparation. It worked. It is not perfect. I will have to work on that still, but yeah. It worked reasonably well. Then I finished a little bit of the context as always down underneath the portrait and all of the hair and everything. And yeah, well, this is my domino. And there she is. I am happy with it. I have to say actually that the hair looks a little bit less um, blended uh, on the video then it looks in real life it looks a little bit smoother uh, from my perspective but well I think it works the hair works surprisingly all in all I think I'm happy with it let me know what you think down in the comments again thank you so much for selecting this video and spending some time with me I really appreciate that I hope I will see you soon again uh, either in a live Wednesdays or Fridays or in the next video down in the comment section and for that subscribe ring that bell so you are informed when there is a new video i'm really looking forward to seeing you then thank you very much and goodbye